Welcome to another episode of Sailing Rum Punch. It's finally June in our timeline of events, which firstly means we've now had Rummy for two years. If you're new here and want a quick catch up on what our channel's all about, check out our special anniversary episode, a full two years in 10 minutes. And if you like that, hit that subscribe button and head right back to the start with episode one. For all of those who've been following from the start, June also means I've now been off work for a good six weeks but I'm moving a lot more now and I'm getting stronger every single day. Though I'm not quite fit enough to work on the boat yet, Ben's been holding the fort and what a job he's done. I've adhered a lot of the um, tiles to the um, wood burning surround. I'm gonna take that down to the workshop and work on it there. It is just creating far too much dust in here. It's horrible, it's quite gray and it's just sticking to everything. Um, if I take it down to the workshop, I'm a much better way of working outside. I can do it out here, but it just creates so much dust. There's so many other boats around that I don't want to end up just covering those in the grey dust that I'm trying to avoid myself. So I'll take it on the workshop, finish it there. The other day I was being really careless and I was adapting the um, galley and the sink fell through its support and put two big cracks in it. Now, we got in touch with the manufacturer and asked for some advice. They said there's not really much they can do um, repair-wise, so it's just a case of getting a new one essentially but we paid a lot of money for it so I have bought a repair kit for something similar um, it's made of like a composite but I've got a porcelain repair kit that I'm going to try and give it a go it hopefully should work I've got nothing to lose at this stage so I'm going to work on that now just had a big clean so it's a nice clean environment I'm going to get some gloves on and see what we can do with this The whole point is you put this resin on and you put this blue light on it and then to cure it. I, I can't stand here all day holding this light on it. Um, it's meant to be five minutes each spot, so I can't really do that. And also I did a little test piece down here and I tried to cure that by just leaving this stood up, pointing at it, and it, it didn't really work. So, um, so I've ordered a, UV, a cheap UV lamp thingy, so hopefully that'll be able to do it for us. Um, and then I'll sand it down and hopefully we can rescue it. Meanwhile. So I'm going to head out with my sister-in-law to a fabric shop. Um, I am, I said before, I'm going to attempt to upholster our sofa cushions and then anything else that might be doing, um, some scatter cushions and all that jazz. We are looking at fabrics and things like that. Um, but I'm going to head to a fabric shop just to pick up some sort of sample fabrics, some... Uh, just some, maybe some canvas material just so I can have a go, start learning how to properly upholster. Um, my sister-in-law has a sewing machine and all that. So let's go and let's see what they have to offer. Full disclosure, her car has heated seats. So despite the rather warm weather, my back was in great hands. because I have no idea what I'm doing or what I need. I have completed my challenge. Well, the first bit, but anyway. Um, let's now go and figure out how the hell to put this together. But first, a quick pit stop for lunch. I'm gonna hand you back to Ben. So today's job on this glorious, bright, sunny, but rare summer's day, um, it's galley time, more galley time. Now, I spent a couple of days last week just making sure that this uh, countertop was completely accurate and completely level. We've got the worktop now, so I'm gonna be starting cutting that and starting putting that into place. Before I do that, I'm going to put where the lockers are gonna be. We're gonna have some shelving in here and some storage. I'm gonna get that templated up and a rough version put in of that. I also need to cut the holes for the fridge and the freezer as well, so that when I take this counter off, I can put this upside down onto the worktop, mark out the holes I need to cut, because that has got to be so accurate. I only get one shot at that, so that needs to be perfecto. Right now, it's gonna be working on the shelves. I do still have a lot of work to do in the corner over here. Um, 
I am going to be doing that at some point. Hopefully today I'm going to make a nice large sheet of laminate that I'm going to be able to put over that gap and some other places in the boat as well, just to have some fiberglass board on hand ready to do some patch repairs that some areas desperately need. I've got a bit of wood here. This is actually going to be the first piece that I put in. Uh, this is 1.5 meters long, this section here, so it's just going to be 50, 50, 50. Um, the two end pieces, the forward and aft section, are just going to be boards from the top of the deck down to the countertop. And then the centre is going to be open at the bottom with a little shelf above it. So we've got plenty of storage. We're going to have about five shelves, nice and deep. So we've got lots of storage for plates and crockery and glasses and food and everything. Lots of room. Just got to make a good job of it, that's all. Easier said than done, but let's crack on. Mm -hmm. Right behind me here is the new shelving and uh, galley storage that I've been working on. It's gone in really well. A couple of slight adjustments I need to make, but on the whole, I think it's looking really good. I'm yet to cut out the holes for the hatches. Just need to make sure that um, Ellie's happy with them. And also me, I just need to make sure that everything we need to get in here, we've got some storage jars and stuff, need to make sure they're gonna fit in and everything like that. And just make sure the shelf heights as well are gonna be in the right place. But apart from that, just really happy with it, went in nice and easy. I managed to use some offcuts of the 9mm ply for the fascia, which I thought I was going to have to cut into a new sheet, which I'm really happy for. And um, things are working out like that, which really gives a little positive boost. I'm going to pause this job for now. I'm making some um, sheets of laminate, some fiberglass sheets that I can use so I can patch up bits around the boat. That is a priority. Um, if I'm doing epoxy work, I'm also going to do some painting as well, just so that I'm not cutting and doing things like that around wet paint and wet epoxy, so it all makes sense to do that. Once I've done that, I can move outside. I've got some scraping to do on the hull, so there's plenty to do. The only downside, obviously, because I want to paint an epoxy today, I guess the temperature outside today is about a million degrees, so that's going to make the epoxy kick off nice and early for me. So um, always, always a joy. Um, I feel like the weather knew that I was doing that. But hey, look. Not complaining. This is a positive channel, always positive. Um, we'll get it done. I'll just take it bit by bit. Be good to go. Okay, what a great time for a heat wave. It is boiling, but it's okay. I don't mind the heat. We're gonna crack on. I've got my panels here. I put the paint down in the build, two coats in there looking great. So now I'm just going to take the peel ply off my fiberglass panels and just see how they look. Great, right, that is really satisfying. I'll get the, uh, I'll run the blade down the edges to make this nice and square, but I think that's exactly what I was after. That is going to be fantastic for doing the patchwork over on the starboard side where the chain plate lives. And the other side hopefully will be good enough for aft over the galley. Yeah, same with this one, really happy with that. Super solid. That's going to go perfect as a for a like for like in the bits they need to go. Lovely. Just received our resupply of all our goods and they like this are really exciting. It's got brand new, fresh tools to play with. Um, I've not really been taking good care of my fin rollers, the fiberglass, and I just don't clean them up properly afterwards so they get really stiff and horrible and it just ruins them. But So I have bought some new fin rollers um, to get air bubbles out of fiberglass um, and I'll just have to take much better care of these ones than I have been doing. Um, I've got six new litres of acetone. I've got some measuring cups from large ones to teeny tiny ones. These are really useful for measuring out hard now, which is in smaller quantities. Uh, I've got a variety of stirrers and mixing sticks. I'm just trying the plastic mixing sticks so I don't keep burning through wooden ones. I should be able to just peel the cured epoxy off these ones and reuse them, which would be way better for us. Uh, we've got various cloths with sand a sanding block. 
Brand new mixing buckets. Again, I haven't been cleaning them properly, so they've all got gunky and dirty, so I've had to throw them away. They are very cheap, so it's fine. And I've also got a pre-cut big roll of 150 mil uh, biaxial cloth, because at the moment all I'm doing is cutting strips to tab things in, and this is gonna help massively just having it pre-cut on a roll. What I don't have here that I have at the unit is about 15 meters of biaxial cloth on a roll with some peel ply as well, so that we can carry on. Got a lot of fiberglassing to do, not just the tabbing that we're gonna use this for, but for the heads, the whole room is gonna get fiberglassed, so we've got lots of cloth. We've got lots of epoxy. It's just about getting it done now and finding the time. I've got to tidy all this away. We've reached the end of the day. It is actually quite late, it's 20 to 10. Um, I just didn't want to stop us and had a bit of a flow going on, so I really wanted to just crack on. Um, I have put some blocks on the starboard side of the hull where the nav area is so I can put a wooden backplate on to screw bus bars and cable runs to. I have trimmed down the fiberglass panels that I've got so they are nice and square now so they're going to be good to do those repairs that I need to use them for. And I've fixed a very annoying problem that I had and that was under the gimbal stove where the floor was. I put the floor hatch in the wrong place or I didn't really know what I was going to do with the design at the time. I basically filled that bit in and moved the hatch back a little bit so we can still have access underneath, which would be quite fiddly to get to underneath the cupboard, but we still have access if we need it. So that really chuffed with that one, that's really good. Um, I can reinstate the floor tomorrow and hopefully do some other little jobs. So I've got plenty to do. Um, I better go home and have some dinner now. Bowser. For those wondering how I got on with my sewing trial, I'm actually quite gutted to say that I've had some camera issues and managed to lose all the footage, bar this one photo and one video. I really should have used a um, different coloured thread. <laughs> However, here's some pictures of my first cushion cover, which I'm actually quite chuffed about. I made the cover with the depth a sofa cushion would usually have, hence why it's a little big for my scatter cushion. But there you have it, a zip and all. Luckily, this wasn't the real thing, but I'll make sure that project is actually filmed. See you in two weeks. Boop.